shake that body. Get, get, get down. Hello, welcome back to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. I'm going to do a tutorial now on a beat designer within Cubase and also triggering a groove agent or maybe native instruments battery from within Cubase using beat designer. So a lot of people are used to creating beats in a structured way like this from the old drum machine kind of principles of back in the day. So it's an easy way to program to be honest and I use it myself if not using beat designer uh, which I tend not to use that much, which I, I probably should because it is a fantastic tool um, But I tend to build it up in in sample blocks um, Which is what you used to do back in the old days. So uh, Right, let's get on to it. So I'm gonna press F11 and We'll create a Groove Agent SE add track and On that track on the MIDI inserts. That's maybe what you'll normally see on the inspector if we click on MIDI inserts what we'll do is we will click Beat Designer. So this is Beat Designer. Again, I don't really use it that much. Um, I expect you to, to spend some time in here. Uh, I'm just going to cover the basics. At the minute, we've got um, 16 beats to the bar and that goes up to 64. So we'll just leave it at 16 for now and 1 16th notes for step resolution. So basically we can put a kick drum on every every pattern so first thing we'll do obviously let's load a kick in Groove Agent and let's just use any let's use the farmhouse kit so if I press play now I'm going to beat designer so there's our bass drum that we've just done now you'll notice that these names don't match up with Groove Agent so let me open Groove Agent so you can see so you've got for instance kick and it says bass drum there snare on D1 and it says acoustic snare so what you need to do first of all if you want everything kind of to be right is go to this drum map and create drum map from instrument so let's do that and if I go back to beat designer now there you go kick snare rim shot etc so let's continue on with our pattern Now these toms, if we click here, we can actually change it. So uh, let's put that to ride for that one, and let's oh, change this. Yeah, let's leave that at that. See what that sounds like. Let's put a clap there, and on this one, I'll have open hi hat. Okay, so we've got a basic pattern there. So let's just go back into Groove Agent now. So here's our Groove Agent. Now what we can do, the beauty of this, obviously we've got that basic pattern. Now we can see what's being triggered in Groove Agent and we can also edit each sample in Groove Agent. So let's solo the close tap and I'm gonna make that a bit shorter. And let's have the open hat. Let's just let's take the solo off. There we go. Let's go on to ride. Of course, you can 
pan H1. Let's take the solo off. So that ride. Let's So there you go, you can just manipulate, you know, the pattern. Really, really basic. Now, what we can also do is this little check mark here, basically, as you can see there, activate to use swing settings. So that's our kick. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that off. Uh, not that the swing should activate the kick because it's on the, the first note, but you've got the swing value here. So if I increase it, I'll go to the maximum. Increase it a bit there. So swing value. You've also got flam. If you go to the bottom of each note, you'll see those three little circles. So what you can have is like a flam. So that should be like a double, and we'll have that one as a single. Let's have that one as a triple. So each time you press it, it adds a little little dot so and let's put that as a triple let's listen to that now so again you can do quite a bit of variation from here there's not really much more I'm going to say too much about this other than uh, with regards to pat uh, patterns this can obviously be triggered from your MIDI keyboard so if I activate the jump button you can see now if I press C it goes to our pattern C sharp is blank so what we could do for instance would be to go here and copy pattern go to C sharp and paste pattern and we could just for the sake of argument let's do a quick little variation at the end So you can see there as well, with jump activated, if I press a key, what it'll do is it'll wait till it gets to the end of the bar and then jump to our second pattern. But I can also activate this now and it's an immediate jump. So if I press play. Oh, wrong one. You can see the pattern changing the beauty of this as well is if we go here now we can fill loop with pattern and there you go now the beauty of that let's glue that together is you can go in and manipulate as you see fit again are just volumes so so many different ways of manipulating the information that you create so you can initially start from here doing flams obviously volumes as well so with regards to volumes on the patch I believe it's where you, where you actually click it to to turn the button on and off so if I click it at the top it should be yellow if I click in the middle it's orange and if I click near the bottom it goes red yellow being louder and red being quieter that gives you a bit of variation to start within your patterns as well as going into groove agent itself and manipulating the you know the pan the pitch uh, the tuning the volumes of each individual sample again you can replace these with all your own samples and also in the drum editor you can you know manipulate draw extra little patterns in really really useful if that's the way that you used to program in then definitely a handy tool i hope you found this tutorial useful until next time
Check that body. Get, get, get. 